are facing last minute budget cuts and tonight at a special meeting the board voted to reduce multiple positions. Thanks for joining us. I'm Caitlin Alexander and I'm Brock Burgi. These cuts come last minute as the district did not project its budget correctly. New tonight at 10 our Olivia Prodzinski was at the meeting tonight joins us now live in studio. Olivia, what are the positions that are being talked about being reduced and how did we get to this point? Brack and Caitlin, school nurses, school resource officers, a custodian, and other support staff were all on the chopping block. As far as how the district got here, we need to go back a few years. Before the pandemic, the school board says the district was already deficit spending. The district then received federal funding for COVID, which is no longer available to them. The school superintendent also says expenses were more than budgeted. This is part due to salary and benefit increases for four different bargaining groups. Now the district district needs to make $2 million in cuts. There has also been a decrease in enrollment for the district of about 20 students for next school year, which is also setting the school district back around $200,000 in funding. Superintendent Dr. Mike Newbeck says in a district this size, dis deciding cuts has been difficult. For us to take uh, a hit like this is really, really hard. And we're just a close-knit community. People love the Byron, they come to schools, or they come to Byron for the schools, and we, we're still going to have quality schools. When I was sitting on the board, However, there was a large showing, showing of community support tonight. Many expressed they are concerned over how quickly these decisions are being made. This is what one student had to say on the matter. I know that it is essential for the school district to cut back on money. It's been inevitable for a while, but some things just go too far. We needed more time to figure this out. And we need to work together as a community rather than just rushing this through to get by. The district intentionally stayed away from reducing teachers or paraprofessionals. The board also asked the leadership team to look at other reductions that could be made as well. To help with reductions, all seven school board members will be donating their salaries back to the district and freezing other expenditures. The superintendent told me if these cuts are not made this year, the district is looking at even more cuts next year. The board made it clear it is working to make sure last-minute budget issues does not happen again. Live in the studio, Livia Pranzinski, KTTC News.